This is Ben Tarha and Tom Dinky reporting from Alumni Arena, where the men's basketball team just defeated the Akron Zips 96-90. The win puts the Bulls in a first-place tie in the MAC East with the Zips and in a third-place tie with the Zips in the conference. Javon McCray once again played an outstanding game tonight, scoring 20 points, grabbing 13 boards, and adding 8 assists to that as well. Like we can throw it to Treadwell, we got a chance. They got a chance because they got McCray. Some of the other teams can't do that. And if you live and die with that jump shot, you're not going to win two or three or four games. So because of him, they're a legitimate contender to win the tournament. The Bulls also had two other 20-point scorers as well, in senior Josh Freelove, who scored 21, and Gerard Oldham, who scored 20. Gerard Oldham is, uh, is a great leader for us and uh, made some huge shots. His pull-up jump shot on the left side was, was, a, was one of the clutch shots in the game. Made another drive to his right hand that I thought was big uh, you know, late in the game. So play a lot of hard games against a lot of good teams, and these guys bring it every game, and that's why uh, we're able to get this win today. Tom, what did you think of the Bulls' performance tonight? Well, I talked to Coach Hurley at practice yesterday, and he said he really wanted the team to be resilient and kind of play with a chip on their shoulder coming off the loss Saturday against Ohio, and I thought they did that tonight. They had an 11-point lead with 10 minutes to go. Akron came back, cut it all the way to a two-point game. Uh, UB kept their head, and they finished out the 96-91. As Tom just mentioned, the Bulls had an 11-point lead with 10 minutes left, but the Zips were able to cut it within two points and three points, both within five minutes of the end of the game. During both those occurrences, the Bulls were able to pick up the energy and, and incite the arena a little bit. Tom, what did you think of the atmosphere in the arena tonight? Uh, I thought it was great. Uh, True, Blue, True Blue was here. Uh, they were cheering the crowd on. This team really feeds off the energy at home. They're 11-1 now on the season. I think they just need to play the same way they do at home on the road. Uh, that's really the only thing they need to do going forward as they're going to play on the road Saturday against Kent State. As Tom just mentioned, the Bulls' next game is Saturday at Kent State at 2 p.m. The Bulls already played Kent State once this season. They defeated them here at Alumni Arena. For The Spectrum, this is Ben Tarhan and Tom Dinky.